Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a second reading and reviewing book talk books. So I just checked out five books out of the library and I'm super excited because I think these books are going to be better than the last ones. So uh, make sure to check out the last video because I did five young adult books and it turns out that the five books I picked this time were actually adult books. So I'm hoping that the literature is going to be like a bit higher quality, you know, the writing, the storyline and everything just because it's not written for kids. So. Hopefully these books will be a little better. I know last time um, a few of the books were really great and then the other ones were kind of iffy. So all of these books um, from this time and last time were from Barnes & Noble's book talk reading list, um, but this time they updated it to add a whole bunch of adult books too. So I'm going to list these books off in the reverse order of the ratings on Goodreads, so the one with the lowest rating first because that's how I'm going to read them. I always like to read the highest rated one last just so I'm not like, oh I just read the best one, now what do I have to do, you know, so I'm not dreading um, reading the later ones. So let's get into the books I got. So the first book is Sirs. So I need to apologize because I don't actually know how to pronounce this. Um, it kind of varies throughout the video, so seriously I apologize. But I found so many different ways to pronounce it on the internet that I guess I kind of just made it my own. I kind of forgot. You know, Google said something, YouTube said something, and they were all kind of different. So if you guys know how to pronounce this, please let me know because I don't know, I don't want to keep butchering it, so I apologize. By Madeline Miller, um, or maybe it's Madeline. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, but I'm very excited about this one because I love Greek mythology and, um, you know, I don't know anything about any of these books. I didn't, like, pick them, I just picked whichever were available in the library. So just by, like, reading the little bit of the passage on the inside cover, it sounds like it's going to be really interesting, um, just because I love Greek mythology. Um, I grew up reading all of the, like, Rick Riordan books, so I'm very excited for that one, and that'll be my first book. Next is a classic, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I've actually never read this, surprisingly. I've gotten pretty close to it, but then, like, picked up a different book instead, so this will be good to read. It's always great to read the classics. The next book is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Uh, by V.E. Schwab. I have no idea what this book is about, but the cover is just so intriguing to me. Like the gold with the stars on it, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should read the inside first. But it does sound interesting to me. Um, I'm not reading it right now, but I just saw the first word is France, and I like France. So maybe this book will be great. I don't know, it's the third one. So it's getting up there. And all of these books have over a four star rating on Goodreads. Last time, two of the books were in the three star range. So Sounds like these ones are going to be a bit better. The next book is The Song of Achilles, um, another one by Madeline or Madeline Miller. Um, I've heard that people really, really love this book. I've seen a few TikToks about it, so I'm very excited to read it. It's another Greek mythology book, and it is a retelling of the Iliad, so I'm very excited. I've read Odyssey, but I haven't read Iliad, so it should be interesting. And then the highest rated book, the last one, is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I don't exactly know what it's about again, but I will find out. So I will be back when I've read each of these. I'll try to come back after I've read one or two of them and group them and just let you guys know what I think of them. So I'm going to get started with Circe because I'm very excited about it. So it has been a week and I finished the first two books. Um, I know that's a lot longer than I predicted, but I didn't think it was going to take me so long to read the second book. I will tell you guys more, but I'm going to review the first book first. So the first book I read was Circe and this book was so good. I love like Greek mythology and everything. I was an avid reader of like all the Percy Jackson books. They were my favorite books, um, well like along with Harry Potter of course, for a really really long time and I was just always fascinated by like Greek mythology in general. So this book was so I loved it so much. I'm gonna give it a five star rating. I was thinking about 4.5 and I was like, well, what is really wrong with it? So I couldn't come up with anything that's wrong with it, so I'm giving it five stars. Um, it is amazing how the book can go over thousands of years and not even seem like 
it passed one person's lifetime. Like, it's so amazing how quick they can make thousands of years seem, but have it not be like skipping giant chunks of time. I found it very, very interesting, especially how it was tied into Odyssey, which I had read. So this is a very, very good book. And if you haven't read Circe, I would definitely recommend that you check it out because it was just, it was really great. So I'm excited for um, reading The Song of Achilles because it's the same author. So the second book I read was Pride and Prejudice and I know this is a classic and I hadn't read it before. So I'm sorry about that, but um, I can kind of see why I hadn't read it before. I read Circe in two days and Pride and Prejudice took me the rest of the week, so five days, and I read the first half in four days, and I just powered through the second half today. It really just was not my thing. It was actually putting me to sleep. I don't want to offend anybody who like likes this book. I know my mom likes this book. I really like books that are more of like action-oriented, adventure books, mystery, stuff like that, but this book was it just wasn't my thing. I'm gonna give this book like three stars out of five um, because the writing was really good and you know I understand why you know the story is how it is. This book was really not my thing. So I'm super excited for the next book, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue because I read the blurb and I'm already very captured by this. This, this book is kind of big too, but I I think it'll probably be pretty quick as I'm pretty interested by the initial taste that I've had. So I will let you guys know when I finish this one or maybe when I've read the next two. So it is time to review the next two books and let me tell you, these books were really, really good. I will start out with The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which let me tell you, this book was a whole journey. It was fantastic. I think this is definitely one of the best books I've ever read. It's just, it was so powerful, but also like hurt your heart at the same time. Like, I don't mean hurt, but it was like, it was really, really good. So if you're gonna pick one book out of the four that I've read so far, to read, I would definitely pick this one, um, especially if you're into like a journey through time kind of things. This book was just so good. So I'm gonna rate this one a five out of five star because I can't go any higher than five stars. I would give it like a 12 out of five star <laughs> rating because it was just that good. But um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay honest with the five star rating. Um, but this book, I don't want to spoil it for you, but basically there's a girl who it lives in France in 1714, I believe, and she is going to be married to this guy and she makes a deal with the devil so that she doesn't have to marry him and so that she doesn't live a small, closed-in, small-town life. She doesn't, you know, grow up there, die there, everything. So. This book is so good. I don't want to say any more about it, but like seriously, read it. Read this book. <laughs> okay, now we'll move on to The Song of Achilles, which I'm kind of glad I read this one second because I definitely would have been kind of uninspired um, when I started Cersei because I didn't really like this one as much. It was a cute story between Achilles and Patroclus, but really, it, was, it wasn't my favorite. It's, it was cute, we'll just say that. Um, it is kind of more of like a war story than Cersei was. Um, and I'm comparing these two because they're by the same author. This one is um, a retelling of the Iliad and the other one was kind of showed parts of Odyssey. So it wasn't like a retelling of Odyssey, but it had Odysseus come into it. Um, and. Cersei was the witch that Odysseus was kind of not captured by, but he stayed on her island for a while. So I definitely like Cersei a lot better, but like as a standalone book, this was pretty good, not being compared to a different one. So I'm going to give it 
probably like a four star rating. It was still a good book and I really enjoyed the Greek mythology, but it had a lot less mythology in it than um, Circe did just because it's being told from a mortal's perspective as opposed to like a goddess. So it does have like the, um, you know, demigods in it and stuff, but really there aren't too many encounters with like godly creatures. So um, I didn't really like it quite as much, but it was still a really good book. Um, so yeah, four out of five stars for Song of Achilles. So the last book I'm going to be reading is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and I just I just put my bookmark in here. I haven't actually started it, haven't read the inside of the cover yet, but I'm intrigued by it. Just, I don't know, it looks interesting, and I have seen a few TikToks about this one, but I have scrolled very quickly because I don't want to get any spoilers. So I'm very excited. I guess I will be back when I finish this book. Okay, now it is time to review the last book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book was really good. I finished it this morning and it was really interesting to see like the inside of like Hollywood back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Um, this is a very unique story and I found it very interesting. Um, I did a little bit of research that this was loosely based on true events. I wouldn't say necessarily that it was like my favorite book ever. At the end it did get kind of sad. I'm not going to spoil it for you but these things that happened in it were very real events. I don't want to spoil anything but I'm just going to say that the main character goes through a lot of loss and that can hit kind of hard so I I don't know if I would necessarily rate this five stars but I think I'm going to give it probably a four star rating. It was really interesting to see how Evelyn Hugo climbed up to be like the biggest actress in the United States. So it was definitely a very interesting story. I wouldn't say necessarily that it was really my genre exactly. Now I guess it's time to put all the books in order because I finished them all. So I'm going to start out with the lowest one. So I think I rated Pride and Prejudice three stars. This is going to be my lowest one because I just didn't like this book. Um, I apologize. I know it's a classic, but it, there's just not much happened. It wasn't super exciting. So this is going to be the lowest one. So I'm going to rate that one number five. So I think I'm going to put The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo next because again, this wasn't really my thing. It was definitely interesting and I liked it and all of these books were really good. So I would recommend any of them, but just um, rating them based on what I think. So Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is going to go next. Then The Song of Achilles. I thought this book was really cute. Um, that'll be number three. I think I gave this one a four star rating. After that will be Circe. I really liked this book. It was super interesting. I read it really fast. It was just super cool to see like the background of a smaller character that I didn't really think about much um, in the Odyssey. So it was interesting to see um, Cersei's whole background and her story. So that'll be number two. And then the number one book that I read during this challenge was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue because this book this book was a whole journey. It was amazing. I think you guys will like it if you're into like fantasy, but also it's like a kind of psychological, you know, this girl is battling death and I just found it really interesting. So definitely I would check out The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue um, if you like that kind of thing. Also Cersei and Song of Achilles are really good if you like mythology. Um, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is kind of... I think you could read that if you like a wider um, range of genres. This is more of like a realistic fiction because it is based on... kind of loosely based on real events. Um, and then Pride and Prejudice is just kind of a classic. I don't know what genre you like to read that. I guess just like historical books, but... Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed doing this challenge. It was super fun to like broaden my reading perspective and just add more books to my reading list. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed um, hearing about what I think about these books and let me know what other books you would like me to read and review because I've been having a lot of fun with this. So make sure to check out part one of this challenge because I read a bunch of young adult books in that challenge. These were all books in the adult section of the library. So yeah, make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye!